Little by little, this awareness of God's presence has helped me to become much more patient, to not get aggravated when I have to wait in line at the checkout counter, uh, and to just to be able to accept other people without judging what their motives are, you know, realizing that they have their way of life and I have mine, and there is no one way. This is going to sound crazy, flaky, whatever you want, but what, let me tell you how it really has helped me. When I get behind the wheel of an automobile, when I get in lines in the supermarket, when I'm in lines in the drive through I mean, we have got very good, nice, normal people, and you give them a set of keys, and they turn into complete mad persons. And, and uh, through the method of centering prayer, I'm becoming more calm within myself. And, and that allows me to know that, yes, you know what? The light is going to turn green. The line is going to move. The person in front of me who is asking a thousand questions that has nothing to do with why we're actually trying to get through this line, it eventually is going to happen. So, so the real fruit of this centering prayer practice method is calmness. The awareness of the love of God is manifested in my daily life in that now I seem to love everyone. There are people that I don't like to be around, but I, I realize that I love everyone. And I try to be more like Christ. And that is definitely um, a manifestation of the awareness of the love of God. Sometimes I think we have this desire to analyze and see how we're doing. And that's sort of the kind of individual I am because I always analyze things. So that was important for me to learn not to judge that 20 minutes, what was going on there. And then that carried over that lack of judgment that I was trying to foster in my centering prayer. It carried over into my judgment about others and about myself. Sometimes we harshly judge ourselves with our expectations and I begin to see that that wasn't important nor was it necessarily very good. So in Centering Prayer, I've learned to judge less myself, how I'm doing in my relationship with God and doing so I become less judgmental of others. Sometime along the highway, when somebody is beeping behind me, I don't instantly anymore get those feelings of being offended. Now it's just sort of like go with the flow. Just go with the flow. God's love is manifested in my daily life primarily I notice in my relationships. And that of course begins with my relationship with God. Uh, being present and experiencing God's presence in uh, nature, my relationship with creation, in myself and self-knowledge. I'm aware that I am more um, honest and humble than I was before I began centering prayer. For example, I had an experience uh, in the last couple of weeks of being at church on Sunday. And um, this young man who has been coming for over a year with his father, um, the young man is severely autistic. And I know for so long, I, re I actually resented his being there because I felt he was disruptive and a distraction to me. Uh, he would clap his hands and stand up at inappropriate times and, and make guttural noises. And um, to my shame and dismay, though, he sat in front of me a couple of weeks ago. And uh, 
sometime during the course of the liturgy, I became aware of myself as feeling compassion for him. Uh, it came to me that that was all he could do, clap his hands and make noises and stand. And that was his way of participating in the body of Christ. And uh, it was very humbling, and I was very grateful to God for that uh, awareness. And God was present in that moment uh, through him. Uh, so I experienced God um, in relationship with others in, in so many ways, but that's an example. I, I think if you talk to people who knew me 10 years ago and people who know me now, you know, the same person, uh, they would say, I'm a different person. I'm just not who I used to be. Um, when I reflect on myself, I, I see myself as quieter. I see myself as more patient. Um, I, I'm more open to just wherever the Spirit takes me. So this this deepening experience um, is helping me to see the good and the love in other people and in the world around us. And it's, um, it's just been, it's, it's transformative. It, it changes who you are if you're willing to let go of who you used to be <laughs> and just say, well, let's go with this. Let's, you know, let's continue to cleanse and move forward.